it is boot season again. Hallelujah. And what every guy needs is a fantastic pair of plain toe boots that go with everything and look great doing it. And today I'm bringing you four amazing options. Be sure to stick around to the end because the last boot that I'm gonna talk about <laughs> blew my mind. Welcome to Stray Reviews. I'm Lee and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today I'm looking at four great plain toe boot options ranging in price between $199 and just over $500. I'm talking about great brands like Thursday Boots, Grant Stone, Allen Edmonds, and Oak Street Bootmakers. Each of these boots is full grain leather or suede in one case. They're each Goodyear welted and they each bring something unique to the table. You might also notice that each of these boots falls in that natural and tan color range. Why? Well, Besides the fact that I love that color range, it just goes great with everything. And I want something that goes with all of my pants and all of my jackets. And if that's you, then there's a good chance that you'll find it with natural. And just in case you're wondering, full reviews of all of these boots will be available in the near future. In fact, two of them already are. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those reviews when they come out. Also, if you want to take a closer look at any of these, I'll leave product links in the description below. All right, kicking off this roundup is the Thursday Boot Company President Boot. The pair I have here is in saddlewood, rugged and resilient leather. They are leather lined and they have these round Kevlar blend laces. They also have two sets of speed hooks for easy on and off. And these speed hooks are reinforced, so you shouldn't have to worry about breaking one off, which I have in previous iterations of this boot years ago. They come with comfortable pour on insoles, metal shanks, cork bed midsoles, and studded rubber outsoles. These are made in Mexico and surprisingly still sell for $199. The Thursday website says to order a half size down from your normal sneaker size when it comes to the president. I'm a 10 on the Brannock device, so I took a nine and a half and I just love the way that they fit. This pair of presidents was built on the new Thursday Boots Kingmaker last, and I was surprised by how well they felt on my feet, really just right out of the box. Thursday Boots just always seems to get better at finding that place where great looking, rugged, versatile, and affordable all come together. They might even have like a wizard working for them, but I can't confirm that. This boot is great for anyone who wants a boot with those qualities that I mentioned and at a price point where you're not going to worry about messing them up or scuffing them up. They really are an easy pick for a daily driver. All right, next up is the extremely popular Grant Stone Diesel boot. The ones that I have here are in Dune which is Horween Leather's Natural Chrome Excel. These are Kip Leather lined, they have soft leather laces, and three sets of brass speed hooks. The insole is veg tan leather, as well as the midsole and the welt. They also come with a steel shank and micro studded rubber outsole. These boots are made in China, and they sell for $380. At $181 more than the Thursday, you might be wondering if they're worth it. And the answer is, in my opinion, a big, huge yes. Now, there are some people who take issue with the fact that these boots are made in China. And I, I get that. I understand why that's important to people who like to buy American when they can. But the materials are sourced from the US and the craftsmanship is impeccable. The first thing that I noticed when unboxing the diesels was the intoxicating aroma of the gorgeous Horween leather that these are built with. It is buttery soft and the liner on these is just luxurious. Hey, if you love the smell of great leather, then tap that like button for me. The Grandstone website says to take a half size down when ordering. I did just that and I found the fit to be pleasantly roomy without being too big. And that's really the way that I like it, especially during colder months 
when I've got those thick socks on. Of the three boots today, I would say that the Diesel has the most pleasing shape for me. Check that out. It somehow has a relaxed, casual feel while still looking classy. If I worked in an office environment, these would probably be my go-to. These boots are great for anyone who wants elevated materials in construction, is maybe looking for an office go-to, and isn't concerned about the country that they're produced in. All right, moving on to some American-made boots. Next, we have the Allen Edmonds Higgins Mill boot. The ones I have here are in light brown weatherproof suede. They have a very soft leather lining. They have flat cotton laces and they have three sets of speed hooks. These have a leather insole that sits on top of a layer of cork and are bench welted, which basically means that they are a Goodyear welted, but they're sewn by hand rather than a machine. They also have this EVA-like lug sole that is uh, kind of soft and squishy. Now, like me, these boots are made in Wisconsin. They sell for $475, but Allen Edmonds does seem to mark down their boots frequently, and I actually scooped these bad boys up for $169. Score. The website says to take your normal size and I found that to be accurate. And these have probably the like the lightest, most sneaker-like feel of all of our boots today. When I took these out of the box, I noticed that the suede was actually even more attractive than the pictures gave them credit for. And the craftsmanship is just spot on. My biggest issue with the Higgins Mill is that $475 price tag. Now, some of their other versions come with Halloween leather and day night soles. And I think that the price starts to make a little bit more sense when you're talking about boots made from those materials. But they do frequently go on sale and I think that they're a great buy when they do. Hey, what's the best deal you've ever gotten on a pair of boots before? Let me know down in the comments. These are a great boot for anyone who prioritizes comfort and craftsmanship and want something that's light and versatile. Okay, last but definitely not least is the Oak Street Bootmakers Field Boot. The ones that I have here are in Horween Natural Chrome XL Rough Out, which is probably my all time favorite leather for any pair of boots. Now these boots are calfskin lined only in the vamp, which some people may not like, but honestly, these just don't need to be lined because the grain side of the Chrome XL leather is so soft and smooth and it really feels great. These have flat wax laces and are the only boots today without any speed hooks. The field boot is 270 degree Goodyear welted over a Vibram 700 cork sole and top lift and it has these hand tapped brass tacks which I think is a really cool touch. These are a tribute to the N1 field boot that troops wore during World War II. They're made in America and they sell for $518. The website says to go for your normal size. I did that and I found them to be roomy yet comfortable. And that's partially due to that wide unstructured toe box here that gives you plenty of room to wiggle your toes. Much like the Grant Stone Diesel, when you open a box of Oak Streets, you're greeted with one of the most pleasing aromas in the world and you immediately notice the care and detail that goes into a pair of these field boots. My only concern when picking up the field boots was whether or not the unstructured appearance would make them less versatile when pairing them with like different casual or slightly dressed up outfits. I discovered that my concern was unfounded and I find myself reaching for these boots more and more. Honestly, these boots really do fit in a class of boots that rises above the rest. From World War II inspiration, to the first class materials, to the masterful construction. These boots are great for anyone looking for a true heritage boot that's handmade in the United States, that looks amazing with just about anything, and won't have you regretting the high price tag. Stay tuned because I have a full review of these boots coming soon. The bottom line is that all of these boots are great options depending on what you value in a pair of boots. All of them look great. They should all fit well depending on your particular foot and they've all been built using construction that should make them last a long time. Hey, which of these boots is your favorite? 
let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see some full reviews of these boots, then check out my Plain Toe Boot playlist. I want to thank Thursday and Oak Street for sending me boots for this video. My opinions are my own. And I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you over the next video.